Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Faith Birthright. So, um, last time we finally got the Yato upgraded, and uh, also, so I did that um, uh, invasion off camera. I was able to get uh -huh. some, most of our guys uh, leveled up to, they're about to hit uh, level 5, most of them. Oh, okay. And I was contemplating this off camera. Also, um, since Kaze has gotten his level 5 skill as a Master Ninja, and I don't think... Mm -hmm. The foreseeable future, I don't know how good he's gonna be. I was thinking, why don't mm -hmm. we make him a drift fire? Yeah, sure. Because as a drift fire, he gets more strength and um, defense and res. He loses some speed, but honestly, for Kaze, that's not a problem when it comes yeah, to speed. Yeah, he's he's got plenty of it. So. Okay. God, I can't believe I have to make him a drift fire just for him to actually be good. I know. It's so unfortunate. Mm -hmm. I do want to check out his growth rates as a drift fire compared to mass damage. I do think they're better. So let's see. Um, no, oh wait, no, wrong, uh, wrong tab. So let's see, Kaze. Um, let's see. So as a master ninja, he had these growth rates, and then compared to a dread fighter, he will have. Uh, Ah, uh, he gets more speed and uh, skill, actually, compared to Master Ninja. Oh, no, oh, wow. actually, he loses some skill. But he gets more strength, he gets a bit more, um... Uh, he loses a bit of skill and speed, but honestly, I think the trade-off is that he gets better strength overall. Yeah, he also gets more it's, points yeah. Magic too. Some res. Yeah. I mean, I'll take that, because, I'm because if I'm using him, I want him to actually be good. Plus... Right. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. To be fair, though, he will miss out on Shuriken Fair, but he's going to get aggressor when he hits level 35, so... Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so plus 7 damage for anything compared to Shuriken Fair, where he only gets plus 5 from Shurikens. Mm -hmm. So, I do think that um, today we will be, um, uh, we're going to be doing for Dragonfall, and then I think we'll actually go and get one of the kids. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, oh wait, I think... There we go. Alright, so, who are we starting off with first? Uh, Hinoka. Okay. Hinoka and Ryoma C. And Ryoma, cool. Ha! Hiya! Hello, Hinoka. You're really putting a lot of effort into your training. Ah, Ryoma. Of course I am. The stronger I become, the sooner we can end this war. I see. That's an excellent goal. Though I regret that our lives had to go down this path. What do you mean? For royalty of Hoshida, our place is leading and inspiring our people. I wish we were doing it in times of peace rather than war. Also, I hate the thought of you, of all of our siblings, being in danger. Ryoma, you know just as well as I do that we don't have the we don't have time to worry about that. I understand your concern, but don't let anyone else hear you voice your doubts. We need you to be strong. Hoshido needs you to be strong. Hinoka, you're right. That wasn't like me. Forget I say anything. I'm happy you feel you can be open to me, and it's nice to know you worry about me. I want this war to end quickly, to erase that worry. I've got an idea. When the war's over, let's go on a trip with all of our siblings. A trip, huh? We can relax, set aside our weapons. You'll be able to dress like a proper princess instead of a warrior. A proper princess? What are you trying to say? Just so you don't have to be ready for a battle at every moment. A little makeup, a little perfume, you might even find the perfect someone. Ryoma! If you think for one moment... <laughs> You, you're not serious at all, are you? <laughs> Did I go too far? Your face turned quite the shade of crimson when I mentioned makeup. If you weren't my brother... <laughs> well, to be fair, she's already found the perfect someone. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, he's just, you know, on the bench, so, you know, she can't actually mention him. Alright, Saiza, oh my god, what? Oh you're god. Are kidding me. Alright, Azura. Um, Saizo, is there a reason you keep staring at me like that? For once, she and I are alone. If, I ever t if I'm ever to tell, now is the time. Melee, since you insist, I should tell you something I should have told you sooner. To be blunt, I don't trust you. Oh, I see. You've always been beloved by the royal family, particularly Queen Makoto. Yet even so, I simply cannot trust someone from the Kingdom of Nor. 
I always suspected as much. Your distrust is practically written all over your face. Is that so? I had no idea. If you knew, then why haven't you told anyone? If Ryoma found out, he would not hesitate to banish me from the kingdom. I don't wish to cause you any harm. I understand why you feel that way. I am also well, well aware of my situation, and of the hatred I must inspire in some people. Very well. I suppose there was no reason to stay silent about it for so long. Be warned that I am watching you. If you ever step out of line, I will stop you. Fair enough. I shall keep that in mind. Okay. Okay. Next. Um, another Azura. Alright, Azura and UB. Nice. Ooh. Crystal, I hope to run into you. I'd like to hear more about your time in Noor. Of course. Well, let's see. I lived in the Northern Fortress. It was pretty remote. Hmm. I wasn't allowed to go, go outside or have any friends. That sounds terrible. Thinking back, it was hard. However, at the time, I never felt lonely. The servants were like family, and my brothers and sisters visited all the time. Elise came by to hang out every single day. How sweet of her. And there was a huge library. You'd never run out of books to read in Nor. Felicia, Jacob, and I even had a little book club. You see, I was too busy to feel alone. Hmm, the Nor you describe is so different from the one I remember. Well, I spent a lot of time here, there. It still feels like a part of me, like home. It almost sounds like you miss it. I do. I miss the Northern Fortress. I even miss Castle Krakenberg. Wow, okay. Fucking Castle Krakenberg? <laughs> One day, I'm sure you'll get to go back there. I hope so, but first, we have to defeat King Garen and end this war for good. Okay, I'm surprised she actually misses that right. castle. Right. The hell on the ground. The fucking castle. Alright, Saizo and Kagro B. I do like this part of the si support. Oh yeah, yeah. Saizo, can we talk? What do you need, Kagro? In the battle the other day, you gave orders to the troops that put them at risk. Our goal was important, but there were less dangerous ways to accomplish it. This is an old conversation between us. Some objectives are important enough that they demand a certain level of sacrifice. I understand why you want to avoid that, but our path in life sometimes demands it. In these dark times, we often have to say, we often have no say in the matter. Why do we always discuss this? Neither of us will change our stance. That we couldn't adapt to one another is why we broke up. It was definitely a factor. You think only of protecting Lord Ryoma, whereas I weigh the cost of doing so. We're walking to the same destination, just taking a different road to get there. True, at least we only differ slightly, and thus we can still work together as retainers. Our vow to not let the end of our romance distract us from our duty was important. I'm glad we've held to it. We made that vow so long ago, and yet it still feels like yesterday. Indeed, seeing each other daily makes it easy to forget that time passed. There is truth in that. So yeah, in case you didn't know, Saizo and Kagura actually dated before the events of the war. Mm. I, do, I do like that. Like, it actually shows that they yeah, that's were pretty cool. in a romantic relationship. Not everyone, like, just gets married or is in a romantic relationship right. during the actual game. Alright, All next. Right. Let's do... Let's do me. Okay, you and Orochi C. Orochi, okay. ooh. I love this one. Have a moment, Orochi. I live to serve, Lady Crystal. I was wondering if you could tell me a little more about my mother. Lady Makoto, I'm a remarkable woman. I'd be delighted to share my memories of her. I barely had a chance to get to know my mother. So little time because of what I... Hmm. Anyway, could you share some stories about her? Trust me when I say she wouldn't have blamed you for what happened. And she'd be saddened if you blamed yourself, Lady Crystal. But yes, the story. A funny one. That's what we need. She seemed so graceful. You know funny stories about her? Oh, she was endlessly hilarious. One time, I recall catching her swimming with her slippers on. She'd forget she had two chopsticks in hand and eat with four. Some say she was absent-minded. Not I. She was a dreamer of dreams. So what if Lady Makoto had her silly mishaps? We loved her for it. Please, go on. Once she sat cross-legged for so long, her legs went to sleep. And I am talking a deep sleep. She stood up before the court and careened right into a fountain. 
I wish I could have been there. At least to help her out of the water. Your mother was truly unique, like a wise sage and an accidental jester. She had the sweetest voice, but the things she would say. Honestly, that dear woman, she really was a hood. hoot. <laughs> Thanks, Orochi. That's exactly what I needed to hear right now. Alright. All right. <laughs> Finally, Saizo and Rinka B. Rinka. Hey, Saizo. I came to apologize. I was letting my frustration get to me. Once I had calmed down, I saw that putting our troops... That I saw that putting your troops' lives first is the right choice. Yeah? If Lord Ryoma had been there, I'm sure he would have done the same. It's alright. I wasn't taking it personally. I'm a warrior, so you know, so I know how you felt. I get lost in the heat of battle sometimes, too. Victory can be a real rush. Really? That's surprising? Oh, yeah. I used to charge in alone like an idiot and take a beating for my trouble. I'd always get an earful from the chief over it. So you're saying that I'm no better than you were back then? That's not what I meant. It's just that you have to think about what your goals are. Maybe sometimes it's worth losing people. It really depends. That's what I meant by learning to read a situation. So that's the way of the flame trap. Hmm. It's a valuable lesson. Huh. I thought so too when I finally learned it. Okay, and that's B. And Hayato and Orochi are not doing that because that is the S support. We're not doing that. Yeah. Alright, so... Nope. Let's see. Who is the left? I gotta share my hand. Alright, so let's see. We still have to get Azura. We still have to get Jacob. We still have to get... Uh, Saizo. Um, let's see. Um, why don't we do, um, Hisame with, um, uh, with Brinka today? Or, like, you know, Hinata and Brinka. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so let's just go into a random her, her challenge, and we'll just pair them up together. I don't even know if they even have a sync. Oh, what the hell? This is how the map's designed? Jesus. Yeah, this one sucks. <laughs> Alright, so let's get this started. Alright. <clears throat> ha! Yeah! Hmm. Oh, Rika, did you need something? No, I'm alright. But you were watching me, weren't you? Not you, no. I was examining your fighting style. The way you wield your katana. Oh yeah, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? What's amazing is how you're still alive if that's your actual fighting style. Is that a compliment? I can't be sure. You may take it however you'd like. Awesome, but thank you. It's always great to hear nice things. Nothing really brings you down, huh? Not if I can help it. Hey, got time to go a few rounds? Excuse me? You're curious about my fighting style, yeah? I'd be happy to cross place with you and show you how it works. I'd rather not involve myself with you any more than is needed. And here I thought I found a good sparring partner. Hmm, in that case, I accept your challenge. Wait, what? I don't understand. You've played tried people are confusing much. But we really do accept that I'm ready for you anytime. How about now? The sooner I beat you to a pulp, the sooner I can be on my way. Ha, <laughs> let's find out if you're all tough. Here I come. Bring it on. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Sometimes I really question how some of these supports bring them closer together. Phew, you're pretty quick, Rinko. Training with you is exhausting. I can tell you put serious effort into your training. I could feel the power behind your blows as well. It was unexpected. I'm certain your blows would have no trouble shattering the strongest armor. Is that why you were careful to parry them rather than meet them head on? Speaking of which, did you memorize my moves so you could counter them? Don't say it like that. I was just intrigued by your style. If I picked up a few tricks... All I say, all I'll say is, your style is rare to me, so I studied you as you practiced. Rare? I don't think so. I know several fighters who fight the same way. It may be common within Hoshido, but I've never seen it used in the Flame Tribe. Oh, I see what you mean. I've witnessed a lot of different styles, but yours makes great use of follow-up moves. If I could meld it with my own, I could definitely become stronger. That was a compliment, right? Again, take it however you like. Awesome. Anyway, you better stick with me if you want to learn more. What? 
No, you're sticking with me. Let's go again. Get ready. Damn. Okay. All right. Damn it, you managed to parry or evade all of my attacks today. Of course, it's only natural to get used to someone you are fighting time and again. True. Also, none of your counterattacks landed, so that means we haven't determined the better fighter. You're right. Clearly, I still haven't learned all there is to learn from you. Only your strong defense can explain me not being able to hit you. I think we, I think that we've come as far as we can sparring against one another with swords. Listen, let's spar with your best weapon, okay? Are you serious? Of course, you're, very, <clears throat> you're best with the tomes, right? Our next battle will be with tomes. <laughs> if you insist, but you aren't allowed to blame the weapon choice when you lose. Ha, I never. And I won't be responsible if you get hurt. I'm not worried about that. Our sparring matches are actually a ton of fun. What? You're having fun? Of course, there's a limit to how strong I can ju I can get just training alone. But I just think it's a great experience, so I'm really enjoying this chance to learn. I feel like I can, I can get a whole lot stronger by doing this. Interesting. I think we are I think we are both on the same page, actually. We're driving one another to grow. Yeah, so don't you dare hold back. Same to you. Alright, and finally let's get them married. I'm actually glad I decided to change rank of the actually marry instead of her actually, you know, ending yeah. the game solo. Hello Rinka, I wanted to ask you something if you got a moment. Oh, Hanana, you're acting very formal today. What do you need? I'm ready for another match if you are. Oh, no, 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 that's not why I'm here. I actually wanted to ask, can I go with you next time you go to the Flame Tribe? What are you talking about? You don't seriously want to challenge the Flame Tribe to sparring matches, do you? No, no, that's not it at all. The last thing I wanted to talk about today is sparring. I wanted to visit so I can introduce myself to all of them. Why would you want to introduce yourself? It seems only right that I meet the people who raised the woman I care for. Hang on, what? What are you trying to say? I'm saying that we've practiced and been around each other. I've grown to like you a lot. You're strong and cool and amazing. Rika, do you feel the same about me? You want to be with me? I... <sighs> I can't believe you asked if you could visit my village before telling me how you feel. I just got the order of things mixed up. It doesn't change how I feel. But I need to know, do you feel the same way about me? Yes, Hinata, of course. Ever since I saw that burning drive in your eyes. Ha! I knew it. I could feel the way... I knew it. I could feel the way you were looking at me. What? I wasn't looking at you in any special way. Nah, I could feel it. You definitely were. I don't want you to stop, though. Keep looking at me for, like that forever. Hmm. I suppose I can't say no to that. Excellent. I promise to make you happy. All right, nice. <laughs> All right, <laughs> interesting. All right, and Hinata, you can go back to the bench and take your Mm-hmm. All right, so now we can actually do a story chapter. So chapter 20, Fort Dragonfall. After the Rainbow Stage imbues the Yata with additional power, the group makes their way toward the capital of Dorne. It won't be easy to reach their destination. Chapter 20, Fort Dragonfall. Kingdom of Nor, Woods of the Forlorn. And just like that, we're back in Nor. Amazing. Yeah, did you know all that stuff with the Rainbow Stage actually happen, or was it a dream? It was no dream, brother. The wisdom he imparted to us was real. I've never been more ready to take on King Garen. Let's not forget his other practical words of advice. Nor's army passed through this area looking for us. So we should head in the opposite direction right away. Right. Our best bet is to head northeast. There's a direct route that will take us very close to the royal castle. And remember, we may have evaded their forces for now, but we can't let our, we can't let our guard drop, even for a moment. Understood. Kingdom of Nor Fort Dragonfall. That's quite a fort. Are we going through it, Rihanna? Yes, it's the fastest way to get to the Royal Castle. And if we encounter resistance, the enclosed space will actually favor us. We can't be surrounded by a large army in there. 
Sounds like a solid strategy to me. I'm fascinated by the structure. I can't wait to see the inside. As am I. The fort itself was built practically with the remains of a dragon. So that's why it's called Fort Dragonfall. Yes. You look upon the, car the carcass of an ancient legendary beast. Its bones and carcass never seem to deteriorate, even in death. Eventually, someone got the idea to incorporate them into this fort. In any case, it appears completely unguarded at the moment. Let's move forward. You heard him. Yeah, let's go into the unguarded fortress. <laughs> you would think the Norian army would have left someone behind, right? Yet again, it seems they've just left a major facility abandoned. You're right. I'd definitely rather have discovered a token of resistance. This doesn't feel right. Whoa, what was that? I don't know. It could have been an earthquake. We should evacuate for the time being. Good idea. Let's get to the exit, everyone. What? This is impossible. What is it? Why aren't you moving? The exit was right here, but now it's gone. Maybe it's an illusion. We've seen this kind of thing before. <laughs> this is no illusion, Crystal. Oh no, not again. <laughs> this fucker. Well, it sounds like I've lost the element of surprise, boo. -hoo. You were the one who talked first. What are you talking about? Right. Element of surprise. What are you doing, Yago? Again, we've got you outnumbered. Oh, 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 as I did, as if I'd grace this battle with my own physical presence. No, there's sim what? quite simply no need for me to get my hands dirty. And what's your plan? Destroy the fort on top of us? You know it's made out of an. In an indestructible dragon, right? Well, of course. Why else do you think I chose this location to corner you? The dragon is even more indestructible than you can imagine. What are you talking about? Everyone, look at the floor. It's it's covered in some kind of acid. Bingo, Hoshidi and Princess. Stomach acid, to be precise. We are about to be dinner for a dragon that hasn't eaten in a very long time. He's He's reviving the dragon somehow. Crystal, I don't think this is a mere illusion. Yeah, no shit. Oh, it's real. Dip your toes in the ass and you'll see just how real. Compliments of King Garen, of course. He entrusted me with some rather fabulous new powers. Bahaha. <laughs> I should have known you wouldn't be capable of something like this on your own. Oh, the blue haired one is being mean to me. No matter, I can ignore a minor affront like that since you're about to die and all. Dragon or not, the these walls can't hold us. Everyone, we just need to break through to the outside. Give me a hand. Yeah! I can't make a dent. Oh, foolish crystal. Did you really expect to be able to break through the ribcage of an elder dragon? There's only one way out of here, and I assure you, it isn't pleasant. Also, you'll die, in case I wasn't clear. What do we do? <laughs> just sit back and enjoy being digested. It's all you can do. Actually, if you're bored, I suppose I can give you a few new friends to play with. Enjoy. Rawr. Faceless! Watch out, everyone! I know, I'm too generous. These lovelies may end up spar sparing you a wonderfully de delicious death by digestion. By the way, I'll be watching from a cozy chair at the past. Ba -ha -ha. Damn you, Iago! Alright, our weapons and magic do nothing against these walls. What can we do? Perhaps if I sing. I don't know, Azura. I don't want you to suffer. Trust me, we're the ones suffering. Bro, it's a little... <laughs> but my song may be able to break the curse. It could be our only way out. But last time, I saw what happened. Please, Crystal, don't worry about that. Remember what I told you? I may suffer a little bit, but I'll always be fine. I can deal with a little pain if it means saving all of our lives. Very well. There's just one thing. I'll need you and the others to defeat the Faceless before I begin. My song can be disrupted by the sounds they're making. I'm afraid it won't be powerful enough to break Yago's spell until they're gone. You can count on us. Just promise me that you won't do any permanent damage to yourself, okay? Yes, I'll be fine. You can trust me. Alright. Everyone, forget trying to escape. Focus your attention on the Faceless. Let's take them down. Alright, finally. So yeah, this chapter, um, it's actually just defeat boss, you don't have to worry about killing all the faces. Mm -hmm. And all the faces on this chapter, for the most part, actually have skills. Love the boss, by the way, he has all the breaker skills. I know. Like, this guy is tough to take down. He doesn't have shuriken breaker, so that's basically your way to kill him. 
and you can use the dragon phase on the ship to basically just get rid of the poison. And I do believe the phases mm-hmm. actually spawn from these um, poisonous spots if you don't move quick enough. And also, there are some chests in these in these um, uh, in this chapter. Really enough, uh, Chris, on normal mode, every enemy actually drops an arm scroll. If you're playing this on normal mode, every single one? Um, not every single one. Like, there's always like one enemy that will drop an arm scroll. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And oh, now to get out of here. Uh, okay. So I can bring an extra unit. I guess I'm bringing Zana actually. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right. Another healer. Yeah, if you're here, they can fight. Even better. One is Grimoire, Rabbit Spirits, Sheep Spirits, and Pains, All right, and... Uh, yeah, I did buy some Sun Festivals, actually. And I do believe... Yeah, Wayne Festival. Alright, so let's just... Yeah, save and let's go. And I did, and luckily since there's a lot of chests here, I'll be able to get use my thieves to get these chests. Mm-hmm. And as you can see, yeah, they just spawn from the acid here. And what sucks is that on the first turn, you literally just get damaged right here. Alright, so, alright. And most of my guys are about to get their level 5 soon, just like Hinoka right here. Mm-hmm. So she'll get, I think, I think it's Rise Speed. What? Okay, oh yeah, Rise Speed. What the fuck, you know, what was that level? Mm-hmm. And a Boro. Oh man, I should have brought. Oh wait, I think I should have brought the Boros Lines. I think I have one in the combo. No damage. Okay. See, maybe I can get a quicker and cover. Nope. Okay. Wow, I don't know I get a lot of experience compared to last time. I guess they're training the face is like tier one enemies. Oh okay, not all of them, it looks like. Nope. Oh, nice talking to me, even though that's not Ooh. necessary. Nice. Okay, what? Okay, seriously, only three? Alright, I guess I'll just move forward. And Orochi is about to get warped, which I'm... Oh, okay, thank you. Which I'm definitely Ooh. looking forward to. Alright, nice. That's not too bad. Nice, dodge. Oh, nice! Uh, oh, that should be a kill. Oh, wow, he's on the beginning experience from participating in the... I guess he... No, he's level 5, so he should... Yeah, I guess he's too high level. I mean... Oh my god, he's not Oh class. my god. Okay, what the hell? Alright, you know what? That's it. I'm gonna just take off these guys. Okay, so... Okay, it should be fine, actually. Alright, yeah, you know, I'll just go head north. And talking we can actually get rid of this acid bog right here. And... Oh, wait, that guy has counter magic. Okay, that's not good. Ooh. Does it count if he uses the Levin Sword? Uh... It's yeah, it's a magic. Or is it tomes only? Oh. Um, no magic damage, so I can't. Yeah, max use... magic damage. Mm-hmm. All right, so that basically means I can't use anything for higher. I mean, he'll kill him, 
But I'd rather not take all that damage. Um, but I can heal him up. Mm hmm. Yeah, I won't die from this. Yeah, okay, there we go. I just, I have a Zana to heal him up. Alright, level for Hyatt, so level 24. One more level and you guess right, special right there. Ooh. Get point strength, magic, speed, defense. Nice. Ooh, nice. Man, if he's this good, I can't wait to see how good Leo's gonna be as a, as a Grandmaster in Revelations. Yeah, no kidding. Well, at least you're starting to actually put in some good work. I mean, you were struggling a little yeah. bit when we started this. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, how? Yeah, get ready to see that a lot. <laughs> Alright, level 5, soul. Get point strength, magic, defense, res. Nice. Alright. Alright, so... Hey! Uh, ooh, what do we take off for soul? Good fortune. Yeah, uh, yeah you're right. When me and Alex got uh, Luna, he actually took off from uh, the ability, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Can do that later, mm -hmm. but for right now. Yeah. How? Oh, I tried to think. Yeah, now you're gonna probably either Dragon Thing or Soul most of the time. Mm hmm. Okay, well, I can just skip this dead. Oh, wait, I actually got hit there. Oh shit. Ow! Oh, don't, Ow! Don't you dare kill me. Oh my god, seriously? Okay, I'm gonna heal him up. Okay, well, I can heal him Alright, level 5 for Kyra. She now gets the Dowdy as well. Strength, luck. Okay, what the fuck? Alright, so... Alright, nice. I can actually use the uh, Dragon Bank now to get rid of this poison. I don't think any of these faces... Yeah, they can't reach me on though. So I'll actually go here with the Guard Nyana and just really speed for everyone here. Wait, fuck! That's not kill. Alright. Alright, well, Kaz is actually doing more damage than I've ever seen him do before. So that's... Mm -hmm. That's good and sad. I was getting rid of this poison. Right, wait, what the fuck? What? Yeah, they. Some of them have lock touch. What? <laughs> what? A fucking faces with lock touch? I knew they had skills, but I didn't think lock touch on oh, nice. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I need to. Okay, now I need to book it then, because I think if that guy has lock touch and he saw a spy shirk, and he will try to escape the map. I think. I don't know where he's gonna escape too. So, okay, it's this guy. I don't want him to get the rest of the chest then, if that's the case. Oh, nice. Oh, damn. Alright. Oh my god, seriously. Ooh. Oh, okay, yeah. Izana is kind of worried. He's only had one experience with this guy. It's not really that interesting, I gotta say. Like, I don't want to sound like a, like I'm treating this map too hard, but there's like nothing really going on. It's just faces. No damage. Okay, let's just rank up. Is there a reason why we chose tones? Uh. Builder Tone and we could have killed him. <laughs> she's about to hit C rank. To be fair, I can take oh my, my time God. in this chapter. I don't really care. She's about to hit C rank. She'll be able to do a Mjolnir and Lightning soon. 
Hey, nice shot, Saizo. Damn, oh my god, why am I getting to experience this future world fate? Okay, well, this guy's. Oh, not that. Okay, I can't do math. Alright, see, they do no damage there and should, could potentially crit. Like I said, potentially. Crit and still not kill. Yeah. <laughs> wait, see, oh wait, oh. God damn it. I mean, she takes no damage, so it's not like it's a crime here. Plus, she's. I, again, she's. Oh, nice guy's like, huh? Crits, please. Hey, there we go. See, they Me. see she killed him. With your yeah, help. I with, killed with it. your help. Hey, that's what I wanted to see. C rank. So now I definitely think she can win a millionaire from uh, Orochi. You're gonna take it from Orochi to give it to her? She has death. Blow. You're not serious. I am. You're not serious. I am. So she can do three times four? There's not. When Orochi can do 30 times four? Okay, to be fair, Orochi's living off of Nostra too. <laughs> not necessarily. Kinda. <laughs> oh my god, Jesus. Uh, oh my, another one? Oh, pa no, fuck your pass. I've had enough of them. Okay, let's see. 46. And she didn't even crank. To... Okay, but she did 33 damage. Okay, compared to Rika, who does 14 with 54. With the sealed res. And she crit it as well. <laughs> that guy also had his res sealed. Alright, so let's get this chest. Let's see what's in this one. Uh, Seraphim. Okay. Oh my god, that is so going to high its own. Yeah, this boy needs a 26 HP. Ma I don't need a Master Seal at this point. This is so, like we're so, we're on chapter fucking 20. I don't need Master Seals at this point. Thank you for the crit size though, definitely. Oh, is this the oh this is a spy shirt? Yeah, okay. But I don't think any of my guys have A rank in shurikens yet. Uh, no. Ikagura and, and Sizer are still at B rank, and Kaze, because I reclass him, can't get any more on shuriken rates. He caps out at B. Okay, dead. Hey, nice. That's level 5. No, 4? Are you serious? What? Oh. Uh. Oh my god. What are my level ups been recently? Seriously, like, this stuff has just been cursed. Like, I'm getting barely any experience, and my guys are getting shitty levels. Alright, let's see. Okay, where's the next chest? Okay, there's only one left, so I guess I can send the cousin if I get that one. Hey, nice, you crit there. Alright, Or another... hear me out, just give her a killer axe. I don't think I have to. And watch her do like four times as much damage. Did I not get. Wait, did she not have. No, she has the Grid Club, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. That's better than a Killer Axe. Okay, well, either way. <laughs> okay. She's gonna do a hell of a lot more damage with the Great Club. Okay, fine. Are you I'll... sure it's better than the Killer Axe? Yeah, the Killer Axe has 25 crit, whereas the Great Club has. I mean, you know what? The Great Club has 55. What's the might? Yeah, it's. That's the... what I care about. It's. I mean, I can check, because I do believe I have one on the convoy. Miss... Oh, okay, she doesn't kill there. Or crit. Oh my god, she... Okay, fine, I get it. Um, the Killer Axe has 8 might, 65 hit, and 25 crit compared to... Um, six my forty-five hit and fifty-five crit. So forty-five hit. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. Boots. Oh my god, nice. I mean, her accuracy is still pretty good. 
A, nice. There we go. C. I'm still keeping the meal. Much better. And plus, Orochi has lightning. I gotta give like you know, bring us some edge in magic. Like we made her only. We didn't make her only sheet. No, so you don't. She doesn't need an edge in magic. She's our only axe user, really. Wait, is she? Well, I mean, I have a raider axe. Oh yeah, and you're taking. And. Um... Yeesh. I can now see why they give you arms for in normal mode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this guy's past it. Okay. okay, so okay, you know, rank. I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, this guy has like fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's right. Okay, we'll miss, and she have a show gauge next turn. All right, well, this was a. Uh, I gotta say, this is a pretty boring chapter, for, even for birthright standards. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of this chapter. And seriously, it was such a It's just very bland. And I mean, like, like I, I thought that this guy was digesting us as stomach acid. Like, shouldn't he, like, shouldn't there have been, like, a turn limit on this chapter? Like, I'm just saying. You think? And, oh, fuck, I want to turn space time. Alright, uh... Alright, and I don't think the... And the low experience games don't help make this any easier. Wow, damn. Okay, even with the breakers, you just... Burr. No damage. Oh, jeez, okay. Oh, nice, still defense. Okay. Okay, another kill for Hayato. Uh, okay, what if I... Wait, oh wow, even with, uh... Wow, okay, this guy... Yeah, he has Bow Breaker. What? Well, I... I said this already, I don't need a Master Seal. Come on, game. Alright, there we go. Uh... Oh. Come on! No! Oh, so close. Alright, another master that I'll be able to sell. So I just want to know, okay, nine turns, okay. Their leader is dead. Azura, now's your chance. I'll do my best. Ahem. <laughs> <Lala. laughs> I didn't want to see that line. It's working. The walls are going back to normal. Let's work quickly now. Yeah. Oh, I thought I said this was both. Yes, we've done it. Everyone, get out while you can. Great work, Azura. As you see here in the scene, the fort's actually moving in the image. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool, I gotta say. Oof, that was close. Thank you, Azura. We couldn't have done it without you. It was nothing. You guys did all the hard work. <laughs> oh, come on. Anyone who can swing a sword can take out some faceless. But only you could have broken the spell that Yago cast. Now that we're safe, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm fine. But let's not linger here too long. Yago said he was able to watch us somehow, so he knows we escaped. We should flee while he's busy apologizing to King Garen. You're right. Oh... Hmm? Azura? Yes? Are you sure you're fe feeling well? I thought I heard a whimper. You're imagining things. I'm fine. Let's just get moving. Very well. Come on, everyone. Let's... Wait, Azura? What's happening? Yeah, she's doing fine. Trust me. Please, don't come any closer. No, Azura, how can I help? Girl, you can't help. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. It's, it's like you're fading away. This is even worse than last time. 
Azura, please tell me you'll be okay. Azura! Ah. I told you to leave me alone. I'll be fine, eventually. Azura, it's time you told me the truth about your song. There's nothing more to tell. I, I'm feeling better already. A moment ago, it looked as though you were literally fading out of existence. Please, tell me the truth. If you truly care about me, be honest. Are you risking your life each time you sing the song? Zara. I, um... Okay, here's the truth. The stronger an enemy is, the stronger my song must be in order to work. Oh, okay, so that explains why when she only sung it once mm -hmm. in Conquest, why she fit why she fit out of existence. Okay. Yeah. And the more powerfully I sing, the more power I draw from my amulet, the more damage I sustain. And this damage what's the worst that could happen? It's possible that if I sang long enough and with enough power, I could disintegrate completely. What? But you told me back in Circensia that there was no danger. You said that the song could cause you pain, but never kill you. I'm so sorry, Crystal. I lied. Oh, wow. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> I knew that telling you the truth would only make you worry. And for the good of us all, and the entire world, your focus can't be on me. I don't know, I don't think you should use your song anymore. I think we're just gonna have to figure out a way to get by without it. Crystal, I really appreciate your concern. But the reality is that we can't get by without my song. We can't defeat King Garen without it. The war will just rage on. I want to bring peace to this world, and if I have to sacrifice, so be it. I believe it's my purpose in life. Yeah, it's basically your entire purpose in the game. <laughs> right. But... Please, don't worry. It doesn't mean that I'm destined to die. Yes, yeah, she is. It only means that I'm willing to give my life for this cause. My dream is to live a long and happy life in a peaceful world. Well, you're not gonna get in this route, that's for yeah. sure. So believe me, I don't want to go anywhere. I will be cautious. Trust me, Crystal. I know I lied to you before, but I won't ever disappear. She's I suppose I don't have a choice but to believe you. It's not like I can stop you from using your power anyway. Yeah, you can't. Just take the amulet from her neck. Like, <laughs> you can't actually stop her. But I expect you to honor your promise. Be mindful of your own well-being. Yes, I promise, Crystal. Okay. Well, that was boring, I gotta say. Mm -hmm. Like, at least the other chapters, like, I actually felt like I was gonna lose you, but this one was just such a like the most yeah. interesting part was the lock touch face that I found out. About. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and when that's the most exciting part of the chapter, that's sad. I gotta say. Right. Oh, oh, oh God. God. Those are Wait, what? How did I get this many support? Okay, we're not doing that now. All right. Fish. Oh, nice. Oh, fish. Right. Oh, nice. They're gonna upgrade both the army and the rock shop. I don't think there's anything good in the shop side. And most of the cool stuff is like in the in the Norian realm. Let's see. Another Calamity's Gate, another horse spirits. I could get a Calamity's Gate for um Rinka actually. Why? <laughs> it's an option. Oh my god. She has a dual club. Okay. Wait, she does wait. She has a she has, she wields clubs. She doesn't need a fucking calamity gate. <laughs> Okay, fine, fair enough. Okay. Well, I definitely need a rebound after that, and I know doing this next chapter mm -hmm. isn't going to be it, so let's see. Um, what parallax should we do first? I don't know. Uh, Sorry. why don't we do get a Shiro, actually? Because his parallax is pretty hard if you hold it off for too long. That is true. Yeah, the sooner the better. Alright, so I need a rescue staff. Um, I'm pretty sure it's E. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, nice. And I'll need... So, Ryoma... What are we passing down from Ryoma and Kagro? So... 
Um, I do think I have a Kagro, so if you don't want to pass down these skills, I do have... I can mm. obviously buy a skill for Ryoma. Ah, uh, mm. I don't know about life and death. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> why not Astro? Um, oh, Astro? Astro. Yeah. Alright, and then Kagro, I think I have one in here. If not, then we'll just pass that like Please be in here. Fuck, I really not have one. You gotta be kidding me. Damn it! Oh my god. Alright, I guess we're passing down Lethality and Astro for Ryoma and Kagura to, to Shiro. How many supports do I have? Yeah, okay, I'm holding off on these. Alright, uh, let us do Paralog uh, 7. Let me just make a cut here. <laughs> 